journey to pilgrimage was a long, long, long one. However, I'll only give you the Reader's Digest version, or, or Cliff Notes, however way you want to say it. Uh, my Italian-American mother raised me as Catholic. She taught me at an early age that if you want something from God, you pray for it. As a kid, she made me, she made me think God was a religious version of the Sears catalog. <laughs> At, at age five, I prayed to God to turn me into a girl. The year was 1956. We had no internet, no smartphones, no computers, and we only had three TV stations in black and white. I couldn't read, and I wouldn't know that I should have gone to the library to look this up on what, why I'm feeling this way. It took God 41 years to answer my prayer. So I guess for him, that's overnight delivery. <laughs> I was an altar boy, but I never met one of those priests. Thank God for that. Later in life, I felt religiously abused as a child. My mother wanted me to be involved in every aspect of the church, which made me feel like being in a cult. I, I resented the Catholic Church as I got older and when I joined the Navy. I didn't like how they treated women, and I didn't like other ridiculous policies that they had. So I became an agnostic. I see an agnostic as the religious version of someone from Missouri. If there's a God, show me. <laughs> I remained an agnostic through most of my life, even though I got married in the Catholic Church, the same one that my mother goes to. My two boys were baptized in that same church. I did all this to satisfy my Catholic mother. I made her happy, but the, at the cost of my integrity. The last time I stepped into that very same church, we had the funeral of my father, 2004. I started my transition in 1997 and remained an agnostic, but I occasionally went with friends to local affirming churches in Phoenix. When I told my family I would make this change, their religious beliefs became a big issue. My mother is Catholic, my sister was married to a Mormon, and my brother was a born-again Christian. I was condemned to hell in three different religions. <laughs> also, when I told my mother of this change, she said, I wish you were just gay. <laughs> later when I decided I was only going to be dating women, I called my mother and said, Mom, you got your wish. <laughs> only when I came to Georgia in 2000 did my spiritual awakening take place. Here in the Bible Belt, religion and spirituality plays a very important part in most people's lives. I met a good pastor, Pastor Paul Turner, uh, and who went out of his way to do things for and lend support to the transgender people. He affected me in many ways. One of my early girlfriends felt very spiritual, and she took me to the MCC churches, both in Atlanta and Athens. We also attended Pastor Paul's church occasionally. Six years ago, I met Darlene, and she attended a Quaker church in Decatur. I would go with her there, and we would also attend Pastor Paul's church. This went on for two years, but having to travel into Atlanta and attending church became too much trouble. I asked friends if they knew of any affirming churches in the Marietta area, and Pilgrim's name came up several times. The first time we came here, Darlene and I looked at each other, and we knew we found a home. Thank you.